Hey, what's going on, collective? I am Solo69, and welcome to my channel. I am here for a special blind spot reading for the month of September 2021 for you, collective. This reading um, is not for anyone specific, but yet it is for all of us, and we should take heed to it. You know, take it how you choose. Um, I do want to go ahead and use this time to explain the reason why I am conducting these blind spot readings, you know, so you can have a pure understanding as to why they're called the blind spot readings. First of all, when you're driving a vehicle on the freeway, you know, you only have so many mirrors that you're equipped to look through. You can look through the, the windows or blase blase, but it also does it. That's not the way the car is built. It's not built for you to look behind you in certain ways that's why those mirrors are there so when you are driving and you you looking through the mirrors especially when you're about to cross lanes or merge into a different lane you know you 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 feel like it's it, you're supposed to feel safe when you look through a mirror and see that there's a a pavement for you to get over you know there's a way you can get your ass over because there's no one there but then, so you try to get over and you either hit someone's door or, you know, almost rub into them because you realize as close as you get over into the other lane, you start seeing another vehicle that's pretty much right there, but they're just right behind you. You don't really see them, but you see them enough to where you have to step outside your box a little bit instead of looking through mirrors. Now you have to look through the windows, looking back like damn shit and get back over in the other lane, which, you know, you don't know what's happening over there because now you're looking all the way. Your, your body's half turned to the, to the right while you're trying to get over. And that's how usually it is. And when you're dealing with a blind spot situation, it's always coming from the right side in most cases. In most cases, it, it's rare, but it could come from the left which is a common side, the right. Just like if you're dealing with a right-handed person and a left-handed person, you, you, you're gonna deal with more commonly right-handed people, right? I guess it could be even. But in this case, when you're, you know, this person that's just coasting, chilling in this area where they know that, you know, that you can't see them because of how they're positioned, we're taught these things in, when we're learning how to drive. So sometimes you got people that do this on purpose to get in your blind spot. And sometimes you got people or you're in someone's, you know, you, you may have drove up into someone's blind spot and put yourself there. You know, just however it is. But what I'm saying here is I want to give you a pure uh, understanding of why these readings are coming about because when you're dealing with a blind spot situation you want to be able to know that you can feel safe to get over without looking all out all outside the box and you know you want you know so this is helping you get 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 a clear way to cross lanes without any interference or somebody getting hurt you know so yeah so with this special reading right here, you know, I have something I want to show you. Um, now, I, I do have a clip of, of someone speaking, you know, like because and I love this type of in, this energy and information because, see, this shows the, the true aspect of what what's going on around us in this fucking world. And see, we're we're dealing with Nicki Minaj here now, and I don't really speak about other stars and celebrities. You know, you let them do what they do, but she's under attack. And you know, when it's under these type of circumstances, and her cause is proper, which I'm never saying that is not. I just don't keep up with it. You know what I mean? I got to keep it real. I'm I'm not that type of person to keep up with other other celebrities and shit like that. So, you know, um and I just like listening to the music when the music makes sense. Um so it's cool, but you know, I give her mad respect and beautiful beautiful family on top of that. She she came came in, came strong. 
and and you know all the hate that's been pushed towards her getting picked on over the years in the industry you know it's very obvious you know yeah yeah <laughs> see i'm not even trying to pull cards right now to this but i'm up here shuffling i gotta be honest and the emperor came out when i said that you know what i'm saying and now it's, it's a lot of juggling going on but we're not even trying to get into all of that I want you to go ahead and listen to this 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 message that she put out because one of the things that she did stress hard is being a voice for the voiceless and she did speak on a lot of people especially in her native community her native um, um, city and town and her state where she's from um, Trinidad you know arms up to that fist up to that that's what's up so it's kind of like you know some she like she said some people don't even have an instagram to where you know where they can listen to this information and get a proper understanding of what's really going on so you know i'm not trying to you know just being honest on some real shit. i'm not i don't do this this is not what i usually do so I, i'm not trying to coattail behind her message or anything like that but I definitely do agree with what she's saying. I definitely do see it. Everybody else should be able to see it too. And one of the biggest things is about making sure that she's able to stay up on her platforms because it seems like they're gonna keep trying to take them down if you know to make her voice a voiceless voice because she's speaking the truth about some things and so and, and then that could also put her more in danger. So if you are a true fan to Nicki Minaj, um, if you really love what she's out to do, even if you're not a true fan and you really, cause I and just respect what she's really doing right now, stand up for her because what's happening is that she's putting herself on the line for us, for other people and their rights. You know what I'm saying about, you know, what she spoke about the no free healthcare, that's facts. That's facts, but yet somebody don't want no her to speak up about doing research. They want her to jump on a bandwagon. So I want you to go ahead and listen to this clip. And sorry that I'm taking so long being windy, <laughs> my bad. But I want you to go ahead and listen to this clip. Um, and then I'm gonna come back and do a reading based on um, what's being said in this clip because man look if y'all are really woke it's time to get down with the get down because this shit is getting real this is not a, a game um i know that there's some things that um can't really be probably spoken on on youtube coming out of my mouth you know um i do not own the rights to what anybody else has said other than myself but i definitely um you know i just got mad respect for nikki right now for real you know what she's doing how she's how she's speaking up you know she's fearless about it and a lot of people actually are more afraid than you think and it's kind of like you know you got people that will sit back and put all that energy into bullying her to try to shut her up, but not realizing. Okay, anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and play the clip. I'll be right back. Oh, hi, soldier boy. Soldier boy, tell him. Wait, so hold on. Let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. Um, I see there was another Uncle Tamiana speaking on my name. Um, let me ask y'all something. In the 10, 12, 13 years, how, much, how many of the years you guys have known of me? Do y'all think that I would go on the internet and lie about being invited to the fucking White House? Like, what? Do you guys see what is happening right now? Oh my goodness. If y'all don't see, it's not, it's not even surprising to me that they had to use one of us. Like I said, the first time, the first time they used one of us 
She was the first person that was used. Now, they just use this man to come out and put this thing out saying that um, I, I wasn't asked to be, I wasn't invited to the White House. Do y'all think I would lie about being like, what the fuck, who the fuck, what? Like, what? So tomorrow when I do a, when I do a call with my management and my publicist, who I, I follow both of them. You can go follow Sal and, um, from Sal X Co. And follow Joe, my publicist, who works with Republic Records. They were on the phone call. And you know what the request was? We'd like to offer Nikki an invitation to come to the White House to speak with two people, the two names. Um, what is that man's name? Dr. Fauci? And with the Surgeon General. And, and do you know what I said? I said, well, um, I would rather not have to travel. Can we do some, something like a, um, a live? And they said that they're open to me choosing a platform to do a live. But they have never taken that off the table for me to come to the White House. Um, and so I said I would like to do, the other question is, they asked me would I like to do a private live, live or, I'm sorry, a private conversation or a public live. And I said it would not feel genuine if it was something that I discussed with them only privately because then it would come off disingenuous to my fans because it would, it would sound like I was kind of like selling them the, you know, the vaccine and everyone agreed. So at around five, six o'clock, about three hours ago, they got back on the phone with my management and my publicist and said, you know, they weren't too happy about me letting people know that, that I was going there, et cetera. What, what person, if, <laughs> anyway, um, but do you guys think that I would make that up? So now they, so now this man tried to come on Twitter to try to make a fucking fool out of me. Sweetheart, are you out of your fucking mind? I'm not one of those people that y'all are going to be able to do this with, sweetheart. Okay? See, the minute you guys started doing going this hard is when this seemed strange to me. Like... And I'm not talking about the representative that that uh, Joe and Sal spoke to today. I'm talking about just the Democratic Party in general and so many people jumping at the chance to, okay, well, hmm, we can't um, make fun of the actual story anymore and, and talk about testicles and balls till they drop dead and make, and make that a joke. So now we have to... Uh, attack her personally. I want you guys to see what is happening. And they and they had to make sure it came from a black person first, because if it came from a white person, the black people would be like, "Oh, you're racist in this." So let's peep this. The first attack was from a black woman. Now, this thing to assassinate my character is from a Uncle Tamiana, black, quote unquote, black man. When 80% of the artists that y'all following right now feel like I feel about the vaccine and are too afraid to speak on it. And guess what they're doing right now? If they assassinate me and assassinate my character and make me look crazy or stupid, Guess what? No one else will ever ask questions again. Don't you see what's happening? And y'all sitting around fucking laughing? You think I would fucking come out my w- wake up and say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make up a lie about being invited to the White House. What the fuck I look like? disgusting that a person can't speak 
about just questions or thoughts they're having about something that they're going to have to put in their body. That this attack is this uh, hateful and purposeful. You see, they have to get people who can just get up there and be like, y'all get child, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and make, and make uh, uh, women of color look fucking dumb. They can't deal with smart women. Whenever a smart woman challenges anything, they get called a bitch or crazy. Pick one or both. So you you guys ask yourself a question. When have you ever known me to say some shit like that? Somebody fucking invited me. Someone get the fuck out of here. And y'all sitting around, sitting up here, kiki keying and laughing and not, not realizing what's right in front of your fucking eyes. A.K.A. Don't question me, you black bitch. Don't question what's going on, ho. Fuck, you can't see that. Gonna use this Uncle fucking Tamiana. And so many of y'all got so old. Y'all say all this shit on the internet. Wouldn't fucking make a fucking peep in real life. To these artists that y'all, that y'all tweet and comment every fucking day. And this is in no uh, way being disrespectful to the people that reached out. Because I, I think that was a really nice gesture. And this has nothing to do with them. And I would imagine that they must be feeling some sort of pressure when they have all these people, you know, uh, attacking me and coming and coming at them. Like, why would you invite her there? And da, da, da. Like, that's sad. No, no. They shouldn't be, they shouldn't be questioned on why and then just imagine someone saying oh no we offer Nicki Minaj the same phone call we offer everybody else what you think they would offer that to Mookie in the projects no everybody else and I see why a lot of celebrities keep themselves keep keep themselves bubbled up you understand we're living in a place without free health care So anybody in this country has the right to question anything about their health. Because if your health mattered that fucking much, there would be free fucking health care, bozos. And I went on Twitter yet earlier and I said, you guys, tweet me your questions so that I have questions to ask, Um, you know, Dr. Fauci and the Surgeon General on on your behalf. Because people need to be speaking up for the people who can't speak up for themselves or who will get just laughed at. You can't do that to me. You can't just laugh, laugh me up out of here. No, boo-boo, I would have been gone. I've been targeted and bullied my whole career. I don't get on the internet and cry about it. The uproar about someone saying, hey guys, what vaccines did you use? Hey guys, um, I'd like to, you know, wait a little bit, just like so many people in America are doing right now. And it bothered me when I spoke to my family in Trinidad and they said, 
right now, if we don't have the vaccine, we can't work. Like, can you, um, could, did you, did y'all just hear what I said? Could you imagine? Could you imagine? So tomorrow we'll follow this up, right? But what's that? Give me a, give me a second. Um, but could you imagine being in a country where it's not that easy just to get on Instagram and, you know, um, a lot of, you know, my family members in Trinidad, in Trinidad don't even have Instagram. Um, so I, I'm, if I have to be their voice, then I will. Okay. I was born in Trinidad. I didn't, I am a self-made woman. So at the heart of who I am, I'm always going to root for the fucking underdog, the person who had to watch their mother be on freaking welfare and still figure it out and say, you know what? I might have seen my family have to struggle, but I'm going to make sure my son doesn't have to live that life. But how can you forget it? How can you forget it? And how can you... How can you negate how, 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 how these people feel? They're being told they can't work if they don't have the vaccine. And so if I want to ask questions about the vaccine, what's wrong? What's wrong? So now there's this gang up for me to say, all right, you know what, you guys, hey, everyone, okay, um, just take the vaccine and and. and ha- now I see why celebrities distance themselves from y'all. Because y'all be the first ones making fun when people put their neck out on the line. Don't tell me I can't agree with a Republican or I can't agree with this person, I can't agree with this one. Do you see the first person who went out there to attack me? A black woman. The fuck I look like lying about getting an invite? The fuck what is, the, 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 the fuck off my phone. So now that we heard that clip from her personally, you know, on Instagram, y'all can check it out by looking at her Instagram page. If she still has that clip up there, go right ahead and look into it. But yeah, um, you know, it, it allowed while I'm listening to it along with y'all, I'm I'm writing things down over here because she 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 made a couple of points, you know that that made so much sense, you know, and it makes you question things like who's who's control is, it? you know what I'm saying when when it comes down to the platform, whose platform is it really if you know her platform is legit to the man, you know, and, and, and the man is, you, however y'all want to look at this, uh, this, this higher entity that's, that's trying to take, um, control of this situation like this, but it's like, until she speaks an awakened, an a, awakened sound, you know, like, it's okay to, to put your business on the line, it's okay to make yourself look like, um, this and that to the, to the world, um to to the man but when you speak on something that makes people actually think about themselves their 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 own health their their lives their families lives then it's it's it startles up it 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 knocks off a different type of vibration you see what i'm saying so who's doing more damage you know is it them or her when it comes to the rest of the world, you know, this is a big ass bang here, you know, because <clears throat> is she doing damage to her, to her career 
or is she is she wakening us up which we should already be kind of woke to see this shit anyway but i'm glad that she's speaking out like this about this because you know she spoke out about a lot of different things just keeping it real and it's like i guess when it's not a worldwide situation it's not really spoke on and me personally i just don't keep up with the news and shit like that but you know, I've had my own personal experiences with, with deaths around me due to the, this, this situation. And so um, this is not something that I'm not going to, I'm just going to um, pass, pass up. I'm sorry. So if I'm, if, I'm, if I'm taking it personal for me to be making this type of move, then fine. If that's what it takes to make the move, that's what I'm doing. Hey, I'm making the move. You know what I mean? So it's about that part, you know, and when she spoke about no free health care, that's like I say, that's some real facts. And I said that before, but, you know, but, but how can that person get mad at somebody for saying, telling somebody to do their research? She's not telling them nothing wrong. She's not trying to um, be cunning to her, to her followers. These at the end of the day are her followers. So she's she she don't want them to come back and be like, well, you didn't tell us to do our research and you just told us to go for it. And then they turn around and go for it and somebody passes away or some shit happens that's outrageous. You know what I mean? So it's it's like she doesn't want to be blamed for just telling a person anything, especially when her platform is that big. So that does make perfect sense you know with someone that has common sense <laughs> of course so now we got it where um you know in a certain area where she's from um they can't work without getting that type of genetic mark because i'm considering it as a genetic mark of the beast because it's, if you have to put it in an aspect to where you can't do this you can't do we already got that with vaccines to where um our children have to go to school and stuff like that we have to go all the way around the world just to um just to do you know speak up for our rights for those type of things when technically we're really not the reason that that um this type of stuff is happening in the first type place these are all man-made um situations that's been taking place that's allowing us to where we have to get these vaccines in the first place none of this is natural <laughs> period so at the end of the day it goes on to her wanting to be speaking about being a voice for others like i said at first too because you know like she said there's a lot of people that, that that that's not watching these certain platforms and stuff but then we got people that can so if we can spread the word spread her word because she's right there's a lot of people and we're not speaking up on this type of shit, especially um when it comes down to um the 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 tarot world and stuff like that you know we, we 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 can go inside the celebrities and see what's happening and what they had going on in their lives and shit like that which is something that really personally and i'm just speaking on my personal opinion i can't speak for nobody else because i'm not trying to hate on nobody at all but i really do don't think that you're supposed to be digging in anybody's personal business unless they're there for you to do it um just to find out what's happening in their life because it's exposure one way or another and it's still wrong you know so it is what it is it's just my personal opinion um but it, you know pretty much in this situation you know her she's like she said she's sticking her neck out you know it makes me think of a turkey you know thanksgiving see you know and, and what's what's gonna happen come and come come the next few months thanksgiving is here holidays are here <laughs> you know just speaking um metaphorically on some shit um but she doesn't need her head her neck chopped off because she's trying to actually speak for the voiceless she's actually trying to use her platform um to do what's you know you know to stand up for other people which she's been doing but like i say this is huge this is huge and you know like 
<clears throat> with her open to her platform for uh, you know for a live you know what she said that you know she would prefer you know and they, and they them asking her about her doing it in private you know and stuff like that it's kind of like why would y'all care which which way she does it you know for one to be questioning her she she wants to yeah what are y'all trying to cover up for her to want to do it behind closed doors she's already spoken out um publicly and y'all are already showing slight attacks there publicly which makes it very obvious to the people that's because we're not blind y'all can't mk ultra every fucking body you know what i'm saying so it's kind of like we're not blind to what's being seen here and you can't shut everybody down that's the point like how everybody can't you can't make everybody shut up you know she said you know she said it wouldn't feel genuine if it was you know talked about behind the public eyes but behind the public ears which is extremely true i mean example kanye west dumb donald trump not trying to throw nobody out there or under the bus but really uh, the media threw that situation under the bus just simply because of him going behind closed doors with him and then all that crazy shit that started happening and my personal opinion even with that this is just my personal opinion it does not mean nothing at all not shit but my personal opinion you know with kanye west is you know he, he probably was trying to get you know he wanted more information on how to lead how to become a president how to do this and they took him behind them doors and he made it seem like you know they were gonna show him one way but then they used him as an embarrassment in a humiliated situation so um it can make us not look like we can be leaders you got to understand where this is sitting at because and, and and i'm not trying to speak about it when it comes down to republican or democrat um when it comes down to um the people of color versus people of uncolor um i don't know how to put that but you know just just races and stuff like that because that's all part of a system as well and if you've listened to any of my other readings um you will know that it's not about the race they just use that as a cover-up to keep chaos um between us um so we won't be able to come together like we should and fix some shit once again and so this is um the minute we started going you know like she said the minute um the minute they started going hard to jump at a chance to attack her personally you know that was strange that should be strange to everybody you know what i'm saying flat out um <clears throat> this happens all the time in the industry and it isn't the way that the true kingdoms are supposed to be ran yo it's not this is how they keep us down and it's like laugh now cry later um i feel i really feel like a lot of you need to really pay attention to the little little skit of the pet goat i pet goat whether it's one two or three or two or three or whichever ones but three is important now because if you look at i pet goat three which i will drop in the description box below it shows you how the vaccine takes over i mean not the vaccine but the you know situation here it shows you how the situation takes over it shows you how you know it, this is not gonna get better it's gonna get worse and no i'm not just going off of a cartoon i'm not just going off of a clip it i'm going off of my instincts and then on top of that i was pulled to that you know what i'm saying? i'm just gonna keep it real with you I ain't got no future in my friend. I know where I get my, my 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 messages from the source of the Most High. I know where where it comes from, and I'm I don't have to throw my business out there on the line or nothing like that. But at the end of the day, my clairvoyancy is on past ten, so I I don't I don't ignore anything, you know. <laughs> and you know, soon it will be here, you know we have a voice too so this is the thing this is another thing that with, with she she spoke this between the lines but it's up to you to take heed to it we all have a voice you know what i mean and it's up to us how we use it we can use it in anger we can use it to fight or we can use it to really come together and you know it's 
it's, it don't have to come together just about elections. You know, during the election times and stuff like that, one of the main things, they got commercials here and left and right talking about vote, vote. We all have a voice. We all have a voice, this and that. But then once the election is over with, that, 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 that stuff stops too. You know, it goes away. So, but and then here's the riots and all the other stuff happening because of what they do to try to keep us in chaos. The same stuff that I've been talking about. And then they turn around shuffling cards now because it's finna go down. But it's like, um, it's like, you know, to keep, like I say, to keep us in chaos. But then, um, when, oh, sorry. But, but when when we try to come together they want to shoot us and all that extra stuff like i said that's the chaos so what's needed to be done is like we can come together we don't have to march and get shot at to come together we can start coming together by being a voice for things we can speak up can't no everybody can't just shut us up gun us down and you know keep us quiet like that you have to be able to look past man i, I ain't finna go into all of that I'm just finna, you know, say what's gonna happen. Because for once, like I say, this girl is putting herself on the line. Like, and, and we can be, we can speak up for her as well. And keep her life out of jeopardy. Keep her family's life out of jeopardy. Because what's happening here is it's the same thing that they're doing to us. They did to other people. Make them look messed up. Make them look crazy. Make, and then, you know, attack them and gang stalk her. Because she was being gang stalked, yo. Straight up. Wait, right now she's being gang stalked and attacked by her own kind. That's what they, what she said in the end, yo. She, she spoke about, um, she spoke about the first thing that they did was send her own kind after her, which they did. This uh, a female, not only a female of, of dominance, but then a black female of, of the same color. You know what I mean, or whatever like that. That race and stuff, you know. And the reason of doing that once again, because it's not even about the damn race, but the reason that they're doing it is because you got a lot of cows, human cows, cattle that still looks at things like that's what it's about, and so they're quickly triggered when they see stuff like that. And so, like, even though you know, like, I'm not saying that she's not aware of this type of stuff because I'm pretty sure she is. But at the end of the day, it's kind of like she's still calling it for what it is. Is, you know, okay, she uh, she was a Tamiana. <laughs> All right, so let's you know real quick. I just want to do a quick little message for her because on on everything I love, I feel like she needs as much support as she can get right now. But and to keep herself safe, you know what I'm saying. So when it comes to this situation, Thank you for your wisdom, guidance, and understanding. Please like, subscribe, and share. You don't have to, but do care. You know what I mean? Because this is this is not a game. This is war. A whole book fell out. Um, <laughs> as much as I shuffled, I guess I got to take it. <laughs> And this is something that's coming in. This is not something that's taking place yet because somebody else may not want, you know, they may not want, you know, they got the, you know, and, and as far as I'm concerned, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, no, the caring is done. You know, I can't care about how somebody else feel about this shit. This shit is real and it's got to come on out. This is a transformation and judgment is here to this situation. Judgment is here to this spotlight. And yes, they're waiting. They're waiting on her to step out to, to, to attack. That's what's the, that's the truth behind this shit. And put in a block, the, the whole, this is, look, look, son of knives is here with the three of motherfucking knives is here. <laughs> And wait, cause, cause of what she's giving to a situation here and putting together, this is things she's revealing certain secrets. They don't want her to do that, so it's like it opens up a can of worms that they don't want her to open up. But it's it's already open. It's already open. That's the thing. Now you got this strategy, somebody, but you need your strength, baby, when it comes down to the deception that's gonna come around you. Make sure when you put in your work, you do that. You already know the game. Uh-huh. You already know the game. 
So what you doing, you giving, now you just got to hurry up and wait, baby, because know this, ain't nobody finna hurt you, ain't nobody finna do nothing to nobody, because guess what, how you doing, you just keep on talking, you keep on letting people know what's happening, you don't shut up, and if you get your platforms took down, it's other ways to get out there, and you know how to do it, you know how to read between them lines, I'm gonna go on ahead and get up out of here, because this pisses me off to see how she really is being sized up, taken by taking a gamble and you know like and, and it could be staring a pot of shit yes it but it's also gonna probably unlock a, a lot of other doors because y'all need to see that this shit has been going on for a long time and they've been trying they've been using our stars our celebrities in a lot of cases you got some that don't mind doing that shit because they know how to shut off their feelings. You got to understand that. And it's, in a lot of cases, it's a lot of misleading going on with that stuff. A lot of misleading. It's not always their fault because, you know, we we have to come get guidance too. You, everybody that's been, that's a star, a celebrity, that's, that's put in a position of high rank, they don't get the proper guidance. So it's not... You know, but then you got some that's on on some straight bullshit. They get it, they know it, and they still do it because they think it's a way that they can get around it. She's speaking the fuck up. We should have her back. I got your back, sis. I know that we ain't related or nothing like that, but when it come down to this type of shit right here, I got your back. I'm going to get up out of here. Y'all take it easy. Have one. Good. Bye.